E3 2017 is only a couple weeks away, not even that really. And of course, if you don't know what E3 is, it is basically the gaming event of every year. It is the biggest gaming event ever. And of course, Microsoft and 3 Industries goes there every year to show us something really cool and awesome on what's next in the Halo franchise. So this is really cool. E3 2017 is probably going to be really cool this year, although I don't think it will be as exciting as some may assume if they haven't heard this news. Let's first discuss what won't be shown at E3 2017, and then we'll talk about the four things I think will definitely be shown at this year's E3, at least one of the things on my top four list. But firstly, 3 for 3 Industries community manager admitted that no, there won't be Halo 6 news, teasers, or trailers at this event. Nothing big in the next installment in the Halo franchise. And of course, that must mean that they are very heavy in development and are probably planning a 2019 release. And with that also being said, it's also confirmed that Halo 3 Anniversary, at least in May 2017, the game isn't in production. They're not making a remake right now, at least as far as a couple weeks ago when Brian said, oh my god, stop, there is no Halo 3 anniversary. Now, that implies, of course, it's very straight, it's a very straight up statement, there is no Halo 3 anniversary, and even if they do plan on making it later this year or fall of 2018, well, they're probably still not going to be showing anything of this year in E3, at least at this event, even if the game does somehow make it through development. With that being said, let's talk about some more likely things to be shown at this year's E3. The Xbox Media Briefing is already confirmed to show off, quote, a little supping of Halo. Xbox Scorpio, if you have any interest in that, will also be present. Even the teaser Larry put up, the Xbox Scorpio, is in the background. In other Xbox-related games, trailers, and announcements, though not Halo-related, will be present and I'm sure will be very worth watching and putting a little bit of interest into, even if you're just a big Halo fan and not interested in anything else. This will all take place on Sunday, June 11th at 2 p.m. Pacific time, and we'll also be doing live coverage and reports on anything newsworthy of Halo or anything big in the Xbox universe during, before, and after the event. So be sure to mark your calendar. Seriously, do it guys. This is something you don't want to miss, and be sure to subscribe here if you have exams or you're doing something and can't quite make it. As I said at the beginning of the video, I have four theories, four guesses, and I think at least one of these things will be present at E3 2017. If none of them are, I would be very surprised. So at number four, the least likely thing we're going to see at this event is a spin-off Halo game. Halo 3 ODST, Halo Reach, and Halo Wars are examples of good successful anthologies to Halo, providing us with a very cool perspective that mixes up the gameplay and a perspective outside of Chief's story. And I think these are really cool, very welcomed, and very nostalgic games for all Halo fans. And though they weren't accepted at first, they were eventually loved and beheld as some of the best games in the Halo franchise. So I think it would be nice to see 3 for 3 Industries actually go down this avenue as they haven't really quite yet, but actually add some adventurous spin to the Halo story and dive into the lore that we haven't really explored yet besides, you know, other mediums and the movies or books and not actually the game, such as when Harvest was invaded. That would be a fun game to play as just a normal civilian with the gun fighting off the Covenant or Marine. Or a Flood Marine horror game has been getting a lot of talks in the past few months. And also maybe a space focused action thriller with insurgents, further exploring the lore in the novels but in a game. One example of this actually turning out really well and doing very well in the box office was Halo Reach. They explored the lore, they took a step back, and it worked very well. So I think that this would all be very fantastic. Any of these ideas or any others that would explore Halo perhaps during the early days of the Human Covenant War. So how do you plan to survive the Master Chief Collection? where players can relive every battle with the Master Chief over and over and over and over and over and over again. At number three, Halo 5 DLC. We may see a trailer or teaser or something big regarding Halo 5's DLC. Now, 
Why do I say this? I think that the free DLC that we got in Halo 5 Guardians was very well received with us fans. I know I sure loved it, there was a lot of positivity surrounding it, and it was generally a good thing for the community and for Halo 5's lifeline. And so I think that Halo 5 DLC would be a great theme for 3 for 3 Industries to reveal at E3 and if not release anytime soon, at least just advertise a little bit with trailers and stuff. And I actually think this next idea I stole from Jacob, it would be really cool for the DLC to throw some honor in Halo 3's way. And since making some DLC for Halo 5 wouldn't be nearly as hard and difficult and cost as much money as a Halo 3 3 anniversary would, it would just be a lot more convenient because, hell, you know, why not? Why not throw us two Halo 3 maps done in Halo 5's multiplayer or throw us some really iconic items and objects from Halo 3 and put that into the Halo 5's Forge palette? Any of this stuff I think would do well among fans and would be very acceptable for this year's E3. You know we can see you, right? <laughs> You'll counter by invading my personal space. I'll retaliate with biological warfare. Oh, what is that? Before calling in my covert ops operative, Sammy. At number two, Halo Wars 2 DLC. Although I would prefer Halo 5 DLC over Halo Wars 2 DLC, I do think that this is much more likely than the others with the fact that Halo Wars 2 just released not too long ago, only a couple months, and, and I think that they've made a lot of discussions, a lot of interviews talking about campaign expansions and classic characters, and they fulfilled that a little bit, but we haven't seen any campaign DLC yet. And I do think that Halo Wars 2 is a great platform a great foundation for maybe other factions being introduced as well such as a flood or promethean or rebel faction being introduced and that's something that fans have wanted to see really really bad in fact cool fact real quick if you didn't know halo wars the original was supposed to have the flood that was an original faction that they meant to put in there. I think it was time restraints, but whatever the reason, it didn't get put in there, but it wasn't an, an original idea. <laughs> so there's also some talk about how 3 for 3 Industries is trying to move away from the Flood because they are trying to compete with Destiny and keep the game team rated and the Flood isn't a very team rated kind of thing, but all that's just speculation. So. Basically, Halo Wars 2 DLC I think is very likely. I think it would be nice to see a campaign expansion or a faction expansion. A complete overhaul of the faction themselves. That would be something that would bring a lot of original Halo Wars 2 players back into the game, I think. But I let the arm rest before you sat down. Back and forth. Twice. Full tongue. <laughs> So at number one, the most likely thing that I personally think will be shown at the Xbox media briefing is the Halo TV show and I think that's pretty fair to say because it was announced many years back, it's been almost completely quiet, there's been nothing talked about it and it's and it's, even its plot has been hidden, we don't even really know what it's going to be about except that it was going to at least originally drop along with Halo 5's release. So perhaps we could assume that, and this is a just a very, this is speculation right here. This isn't fact at all, but speculation wise, I think that it may have had something to do with Halo 5, but we don't know. We don't know for sure. What we do know, at least as of August 2016, is that this Halo TV show is still very active in development. Now that could have changed, but last time we heard, the project was, quote, alive. But with no Halo 6 nor Halo 3 anniversary likely being shown, and it's pretty much confirmed that there is no Halo 3 anniversary nor Halo 6 news at E3, I mean, it's probably going to be, unless 3 for 3 has any surprises, a big Halo TV show trailer or something later releasing in the fall of 2017. And I think that would be the most likely thing that we could see at this year's E3, considering that there is more than likely, unless they have any surprises, no games this year, no big Halo games this year. And I think a big Halo TV show slash movie would be something to really fill that gap between Halo games and also make Halo fans excited, keep them in the Halo community, and keep the excitement up. 
So yeah, and again, the Xbox Media Briefing will be streamed presumably on Twitch, as it always is anyway, YouTube and Facebook, Sunday, June 11th at 2 p.m. Pacific time. If you don't know what that is to your time zone, you can just do a quick Google search. They also have sites for this. If you just look up 2 p.m. Pacific and then put your time like central time, Google should be able to find it out very quickly for you. So what do you guys think of this E3 2017 Halo Xbox Media Briefing. What do you guys want to see? What do you hope to see at this event? Let me know down in the comment section below. Use that hashtag Halo Club in your comment too, so perhaps we can put you in a future podcast, and maybe we might even talk about E3 2017 a little bit again before the actual event happens to have more speculation and a little bit more talk and hype about the whole thing. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Shout out to our patrons for their help, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.